Well, we're to Wednesday already, and it's great to have you with us again for this time as we try to encourage one another in the Word of God. And I trust that now that we've had a few days since some of the crises of last week, that you've been able to process the situation and realize that God is in control and that God is going to do some great things in the days ahead. And I trust that this will go deep within your heart. And today I'd like to just go to uh, Romans chapter 12, the great application chapter of the doctrines of sanctification, justification, all that we have in Christ. And you have a whole series of admonitions that are challenging, convicting, and encouraging. And I'd like to look here for a couple of minutes at verse 12 of chapter 12. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Those three really go together, and I think are a wonderful uh, perspective on a balance in our thinking. First of all, we need to rejoice in hope. The word hope is confident expectation. As we look around us, oftentimes things seem to be against what we believe is going to happen, but the Word of God is the basis for our future both in what God wants to do in the ministry of the local church, and then, of course, prophetically, what he has promised will occur in the days ahead. And we can rejoice in the confident expectation that God is going to do what he has said, both in his promises now and in his prophecy later. And then right on the heels of that, patient in tribulation. As we choose to rejoice, that enables us to be enduring. The word patient means enduring faith. As we go through tribulation, as we go through the disappointments, the attacks of the evil one, as we go through trials, this is where our faith gets tested. And when we've made the decision to believe God's promises and rejoice in what he has said and have confident expectation, we can then endure whatever disappointments we're facing knowing that God is going to work. And then the final thought is continuing instant in prayer. You see, all of this is possible by maintaining a vital dynamic relationship with Jesus Christ through prayer. And when we can be on guard, on duty in prayer, continuing instant, pray without ceasing, if we have that awareness of the presence of God, all of these admonitions will come together. And so we can rejoice, we can have confidence, we can have a deep, enduring faith because we are with God. And so I encourage you with just these simple little thoughts to realize that because of all that we find in the first part of Romans, the great salvation that we have and therefore the great victory we can have, we can then rejoice, have enduring faith, and hold on to our God and know that he is working and know that our life is really going to count for God and that we can be encouraged day by day.